Hey everyone, it's Crystal from Beautifully Broken Crafts Hauls and more. Sorry, I'm fixing my bra strap. Um, I told you guys I would do a cook with me episode this weekend, being I haven't done one in a couple weeks, being I was so sick. So we're going to do my chicken pot pie today, um, as homemade as it's going to get with me. Because, you know, single mom, working 40 plus hours a week and running everybody around, you, you take your shortcuts. So um, here we go. Let's see if I can get this camera angled correctly for you guys to see. Sorry. No, nope, that's my oh, that's my hot cocoa bar. You guys are gonna see shortly. And my DIY. Ignore the garbage can in the background, you guys. Okay. So I have put already probably like two tablespoons of olive oil in my skillet. I'm gonna let that warm up for a second. And then once that is warmed up, we're gonna add some minced garlic. If you hear whining in the background, the dog's in the basement right now. Um, I will get into all that shortly as to what's going on over here. It's been a rough day thus far. Um, so I'm just trying to keep myself preoccupied. So I don't measure much of anything. I just take a big lob of it and throw it in there. And let that start to saute. It doesn't take long for garlic to saute. And in the meantime, we'll, we'll talk about the chicken. So I use the Purdue Perfect Portions, no antibiotics ever, fresh chicken breast, 99% free, free range chicken. I use three of these chicken breasts and just dice them up real small. And then once I get the chicken in here, I will season it with some salt and pepper. And then once it starts browning, I'm going to microwave the peas and carrots, great value mix in the microwave. So these are the sameable, so I think it only takes like five minutes. I also use, um, jar, usually I use the, I think it's by Heinz, I'm not positive, the Heinz jarred chicken gravy. However, Walmart has been out of it. I hate going to our other grocery store, which is called Giant Eagle, but I did come across the Campbell's Chicken Gravy at Dollar Tree, so we're just going to use two cans of that. And then I have my pie pan. Let me wipe this out real quick. Right here, and we're going to use the Pillsbury pie shells you get out of the refrigerator section once we get to that point. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I think that's sauteed enough. So we're gonna take our chicken and just slide it all in there. Put that in the sink. There's our salt. And here's our pepper. Stir that around so it all gets some seasoning on it and garlic. and let that do its thing. It doesn't take long to um, fry chicken in a skillet, especially when it's kind of so small. So I'm gonna throw these peas and carrots in the microwave, turn it on for five minutes, let that steam. Keep an eye on this. So while that's going, I'm gonna take my pie pan. Here's the Pillsbury pie crust I use. You get two of the cross pieces in here. So I'm going to take one and put it on the bottom. And you have to let this sit outside of the fridge for like 30 minutes before you start messing with it. I'm unrolling it. And then I'm just going to stuff it in here. Sorry about that guys. Um, anyways, I smoothed the shell out in the bottom of this pie pan. I'm gonna set it aside. The chicken is done. I'm able to cut it easily with my rubber or silicone spoon. And I was checking the pieces and they're cooked all the way through. So I am going to turn this off and drain it in the colander or strainer just to get all that extra-ness out. 
like any of the fat and all that. And then we'll set that there. And the peas and carrots are done as well. So, we're going to take our peas and carrots that are cooked. And the reason I cooked them first is because I have done this without cooking the frozen vegetables first and it won't two things happen one it makes the gravy super watery once they cook down and it takes longer for it to cook and nobody has time for that so I have my veggies in here and then we're gonna start adding some gravy yes I use a can tap a hand can opener still. I just don't like the electric ones for some reason. I have one in my pantry, but I never use it. So there's that. Grab me a spoon. And just scrape the excess out. And if you guys have watched my cooking before, you guys know I will put these cans in the sink to rinse out because. Peyton's cat is a heathen. Okay, and then I'm just gonna throw the chicken in here now before adding that second can of gravy. And we're just gonna mix this all together. Get all that coated with the gravy as much as you can. And see, if you only did one can of gravy, it's really not enough. It just coats the chicken and vegetables, barely. Oh, and I believe my pie pan is in, does it say? Uh, no, it doesn't. But I think it's like nine inches. Okay. So then we're going to do this can. Good enough. Throw that in the sink. Finish mixing this up. You guys can't even see it. My apologies, you guys. I usually do this on the island, but because I needed to be near the stove today, because we're not doing a crock pot meal. Anywho, so that's two cans of gravy, three chicken breasts, and an entire bag of peas, excuse me, and carrots, all mixed in here. And then we're going to dump the contents of this into our pie shell. even mix it around while it's in the pie shell trying to make sure and you know it's somewhat even with meat and vegetables and that it's you know all leveled or as best as possible because we're gonna put the top um, shell on here in a second good enough so there's that and then you're gonna take your top shell And then we're gonna drape it over the top. Come on, cooperate with me. And then you're just gonna go around and pinch the sides. You can cut off the excess, but the kids and I actually like the crust on the edges, especially when it gets dark brown. Like to us, the crust is usually like the best part. But, like, I will sometimes pull or cut some of it off if it's, like, way too long. It doesn't look very pretty right this second. I know, you guys. Then I take a fork and I make it look all fancy. And just put my little fork marks in there. All along the rim. And that also helps secure it down. Mm -hmm. 
it. Not good enough. And then I'll take a little knife and I will slit four vent holes in here. So I do one there, one there, one there, one there. I'm a little OCD. You guys know that already. Okay. That's it. And then we're going to pop this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 40 minutes. And that's it. Okay, y'all, sorry about that. So we put the pot pie in the oven at 400 degrees. It's going to be in there for 40 minutes. And essentially it's just cooking. Sorry, I was running up and down the steps real quick. The pie crust. And it'll keep the chicken and veggies hot. And I cut myself on the cans that I was rinsing. Um, I'm getting too old for this crap. And fat. Shut it, I know. Anyhow, <laughs> today... Or last night, our family cat, Eli, who we've had like 10 or 11 years, passed away in his sleep. So right now, the father of my kids, who he is my ex, like we've been split up for 16 years now, is here. He's digging a hole in my yard and getting everything set up to bury the cat. So it's been a very hard day. So, hey y'all. Oh, my ring light's not on. Hang on. Blinding. Okay, I'm back. Pot pie is done. I did let it sit out for like 10 minutes or so to just, you know, settle. But look at how good this looks, you guys. Doesn't it look amazing? It's looking amazing. Trust me, it's delicious. We're just going to cut it so you guys can see what it looks like. It is messy. I'm not going to lie. But it's so worth it. Let me get a paper. Well, I'm gonna get a paper by light, y'all. I know I sound like a fire now. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I've cried probably six times today so so far over the cat passing away. Um, I don't know if I got a chance to say it. He's our family cat. We've had him for ten or eleven years. His name was Eli. I've I might have shared pictures of him like in the beginning of becoming a YouTube channel. Um, yeah. And he was like my best bud. Like literally, he was like one of the best animals I've ever had. Cause I've grown up with cats my whole life. But Eli was like, he's like a person almost. He was so sweet. So anyhow, the baby daddy um, dug the hole and my son built like a little casket for him. And, um, my, the father of my kids, Jake, is picking up our daughter right now from work. And, um, we are going to say our goodbyes to Eli properly and then bury him in the yard. And, yeah, that'll be that, y'all. Um, but I was just, like, while this was cooking, I got the Christmas, like, Peyton and I brought every Christmas tote up from the basement trying to keep her, you know, I told her I just want to keep myself busy, keep my mind off of it. And then her dad showed up after she, after I took her to work and all that was going on. So I just been fluffing. I've, I got mm, three quarters of the tree up. I have to put the top on still, but I'm still working on fluffing it and all that in between cooking. So when I take the cut piece out of the pie, this, it all, this always happens, but I don't care. Um, but here, excuse my spoon, excuse my knife. Let me just pick this up and show you guys, like, what it looks like. Doesn't that look amazing? It's so good. I made this, um, last winter for, um, Mark, my son Mark's, his friend Aaron and his girlfriend Sierra were living with us for a short time because they had some issues going on and they had nowhere to stay. And I had made this for dinner one night. And they devoured, like, I had one slice of the pie, and him and her devoured, devoured the entire chicken pot pie. They're like, Mom, that is the best chicken pot pie we've ever had. I was like, sweet, thanks. So, hopefully you guys give this recipe a try. I can leave the details in the descriptions if you guys really want me to, or you can ask me for them in the comments. That is not my dog. <laughs> that is my baby daddy's dog, Abby. My dog and other cat are in the basement because she does not get along with other animals. But he had to bring her because he didn't have anybody to watch her today. Anywho, that's TMI, right? 
Oh, yeah, whatever you use, don't care. Um, even if you do, you know I love y'all. Um, that is it for now. Once I get the tree done, I'll show you, I'll I'll share it with y'all. Probably do like the whole um, Christmas decorating walk through the house like I do for fall, like I did for fall and Halloween. Um, other than that, I'm gonna go, you guys, finish this tree. Yes, I've been drinking because, like I said, the day has been no bueno. No bueno for this familia. And the cat passed away on the same exact day that my granny did six years ago. So I was already, you know, I'm already emotional. I'm emotional every year. Six years, I know it's been six years. Some people are like, move on. It's not that easy, especially when that was like, she was like my mom. She was like my mom. Maybe one day I'll tell you guys my, my life story. Right now it's not the time. Um, but that, my granny was like my mother. So when she passed away six years ago, I was literally a wreck for an entire year. Like, I ended up having to get on antidepressants and everything. It's, it was no joke. Um, so, yeah. All right. I think I shared enough with y'all for today. Don't you? That was a lot. Not a lot. I probably will have some pictures of Eli at the end of this. Um, obviously not from today in his condition today. Like my ex was like, yeah, he still calls me dear after all these years. He's like, dear, you, you're not going to work with him at all. Cause no, he's like, it, it freaked him out. Like that cat's been a part of our family for so long. No. So, but I will put some pictures up of him as, cause we had him since he was six months old. So of him like growing up over the years, um, at the end of this video, if you guys want to stay tuned for all that. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys probably tomorrow with some DIYs. Say hi, Abby. Say hi. No. Um, I love you all. Take care. I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you guys have a blessed day, night, weekend. Um, if I forgot in the beginning, because I usually do, because you know my memories for crap. Welcome to my channel. If you like my content, like me, eh, whatever, whatever, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, so you can become part of our crazy, beautifully broken family over here and hit that notification bell. So you're notified every time I upload a video, uh, comment if you would like and share if you would like. All right. I will talk to you guys soon. Love you all so much. Good night.